All right, um, guys, why don't you help me out by letting me help you out too? Because I'm trying to do something with this. I want to see how well this thing records from over there. So I just pulled up the um, your worksheet. Does anybody have a question that I can work through? Uh, um, like it's partly for you. It's also partly for me. Anybody have a question that I can work through? 22? Oh, that tough one. You jerk face. It's, it's really not that tough when you think about it, okay? So, but let's go ahead and do it. Um, again, my whole objective, I just want to see how clear this thing comes out. There's like this little background there. Like, it can hardly even see this thing on that screen. I see that. So, I, I want to see like how, how well that comes out when I upload it to YouTube, you know? See, because you guys are going to be viewing it on a screen this big, not this big, right? So, here we go. Um, so it starts off, it says, Kristen needs to enclose a rectangular pin for her cows. Kristen only has 800 feet of fencing material, so she will use the 60-foot side of a barn as part of one side of the fence. Find the largest possible area of the pin and the dimensions that will produce this area. Okay, so there's this. Now, here's, here's the thing that people screw up on. They think that the answer is... Okay, we're using a barn as one side. That's not what it says. What does it say? What does it say about the barn? As part of one side. Part of one side, right? So you've got a barn here. That's part of one side. Then you have to fence the remaining portion of that side, right? So consistently, we're trying to optimize an equation, area equals length times width. Consistently, we're, that's what we're always trying to do, right? Uh, Find the largest possible area with these area optimization questions. And consistently, we need some other, other equation, right, to plug into that area uh, equation so we can actually optimize it. So the question is, how do I create that other equation knowing that a barn is only part of that last side, right? Not the whole thing. If it was the whole thing, that'd be easy. Width, width, length. So you have two widths plus a length equals... 800 foot of fencing, but it's not. That's exactly. That's all. That's all it is. That's really all it is. So, wh what's the what's the length of this side? Well, you know, from here all the way across, right, is length. That's length, right? So it's not quite length, but it's almost length. It's length minus 60. You don't need the whole length, right? You need this part, which is length minus that part. You need length minus this part. So it's length minus 60. So you have actually two width plus a length plus what's the length of this side? We don't quite know. We just know it's length minus 60. Does that make sense? And it equals the 800 foot of fencing that you have to actually create it. Now, another question. Do these parentheses serve any purpose at the, at the moment? No, there's nothing being multiplied into it or anything like that. I just put the parentheses there so you can see that's the fourth side. It was the length minus 60, right? So to actually solve this, it's not too tough. It's just tough getting the right equation. Let's erase that. Let's combine like terms with my two lengths. So I have two width plus two length equals 860. And then from there, you guys can probably solve it. Okay, you got it. So we would still get the largest possible yeah. area. Yeah, that's that's my objective. Get the largest possible area. So let's continue on with it. I guess I'll go, I'll go ahead and solve it. I want to solve one of these variables. So let's say I solve for the the width. So I'm going to move the the length to the other side. Divide by two. Width equals. I don't know why people consistently just divide the length off by two, but you have to divide everything on that side. So also divide the 860, so that's 430 left over, all right? And then from there, what am I gonna do? Plug it into my area equation, right? So I have this area equation, plug it in there for the width. So I'll, my area equation is actually area equals length times width. There's length times width, all right? So continuing on from here, area equals negative length squared plus 
430 length. Negative B over 2A, negative B. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going a little bit too quick. Let's understand this. I'm trying to maximize area, right? I think this is the part that people might be missing as far as understanding. I'm trying to maximize the area. Here's my area equation. So what am I trying to maximize? That equation, okay? Notice that equation's a quadratic. It's facing down. That equation's gonna look like this. And to maximize it, I simply need to find the highest point, AKA, also known as the vertex, right? That's why I'm doing negative B over 2A, because that helps me find the X value of the vertex. My whole objective, find the vertex. That's the maximum point, right? So negative B, oop, negative 430 over 2A. 2 times negative 1. So negative 430 divided by negative 2, that's negative 215, or positive 215. So my vertex on this curve, now let's just imagine it. My vertex on this curve, here's the curve, vertex is at 215 comma something. So what is 215? Is it the length or the width? It's the width. Or er, no, it's the length. When the length, there it is right there. Okay, it says it right here. Here's my area equation. When the length, the length, is 215, my area is maximized to be, I don't know, take 215, plug it into your area equation, and it'll tell you what the area would be maximized to, all right? Um, so 215, I, I don't know all this stuff. Does it, has anybody actually, actually solved this problem yet? 4, 6. Okay, so when I plug length in to here, right, the 215 into here, so negative... 215 squared plus 430 times 215, you get 46,225, hopefully, right? I don't know if that's right or not. Let's just go with it. The point is we should be plugging that into here and into there, okay? Um, so maximum area could be 46,225. Um, the length is 215 to find the width. I would probably just take this also, the 215, oops, I'm sorry, and plug it into the length to solve for the width. It says width equals negative length plus 430. So negative 215 plus 430. So the width is also, the width is also 215. So when the length is 215 and the width is 215, you get a maximum area of 46,225. Okay, that's what that means. Yeah, cool. Are there two widths because one side uses a part of the bond? Are there two widths? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, let's let's just make sure this is all right. Let's let's even draw it out on on this thing right here. Here we go. There's the part that we don't need to to cover, right? And that's 60 foot. So. From here to here is 215, right? From here to here is 215. So I have 215 plus 215 plus 215 plus what? 155. So does 215 plus 215 plus 215 plus, let's, let's write it in a different color, plus 155, which is the difference between 215 and 60, does that all add up to 800 feet of fencing? Great, so that's the answer. Okay? All right, so 